Parasitism is the mode of existence in which one organism, a parasite, infects another, which is the host, and the parasite does some measure of harm to the host while itself deriving a benefit. Parasitism is not rare. It is one of the most common lifestyles on earth. As such, the study of parasitism can teach us a great deal about life in general. Now, we will be showing you some great examples that best illustrate this type of symbiosis.
Intestinal parasites are parasites that can infect the gastrointestinal tract of human and other animals. They can live throughout the body but most prefer the intestinal wall. Means of exposure include ingestion of undercooked meat, drinking infected water, and skin absorption. Apids, those little sap-sucking honeydews excreting pests, can definitely spell trouble for your garden. The problem with aphids is that they suck the sap from the stems and leaves of your plant. This can weaken the plant but even worse, they also spread diseases as they move from plant to plant and they remove and reproduce quickly.
blouse is a tiny, wingless parasitic insect that lives among human hairs and feeds on tiny amounts of blood drawn from the scalp. Lice are a very common problem, especially for kids. They're contagious, annoying, and sometimes tough to get rid of. But while they're frustrating to deal with, lice aren't dangerous. They don't spread disease, although their bites can make a child's scalp itchy and irritated, and scratching can lead to infection. The relationship between mosquitoes and humans is parasitism. The reason for this is only the mosquito benefits from it host or human is harmed. Humans can get deadly disease from mosquitoes.
As a review, parasitism involves two different organisms, the parasite and the host. Parasite is the one that affects the host. A parasite receives positive benefit, but the host experiences the opposite. In general, parasitism is just one of the important species interactions existing in the ecosystem. This also reflects the intricate beauty of our ecological community and of life in its fullest sense.